Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our October 29th new releases. We actually zoomed out on me, it looks like too much, but yeah. Our new releases are live for this week. We have a super simple week. Um, we have two holiday kits and then we have some holiday foil. Um, I don't think I have any announcements. Right now we are currently working super hard on Advent we are so busy with that right now. And then also um, we got a lot of our, I don't want to say all, but I know that we got a lot of our 2025 planner orders out as well. So super excited about all of that. So we've been super busy here. So it just calls for a simple week um, this week for our new releases. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Like I said, we have two new kits and then we have a foil collection. I'm gonna start with the foil collection. Since it's just pretty, I don't know. I don't wanna say generic, but it's like, it's just holiday themed. So it doesn't necessarily go with a specific kit um, for this week. So let's just go ahead and show it first. So first off we have Christmas trees. We have a couple different sizes here. We have gingerbread cookies. We have some bows and tags. These presents in hand. I do know that one of the kids this week has um, one of these foiled on the kit. So I guess it technically does match, but still this goes with any sort of holiday. I feel like even like, I feel like only really the sweatery ones can be used in the winter time. Um, I mean, you could use them anytime, honestly. But then there's some that don't have sweaters on the hands, so you could use it for like any time of the year, even if you wanted to. Just have some presents. Some ribbons. These you can like put on top of presents. I'll show you in a kit. In, uh, I know at least one of the kits here has um, these ribbons foiled on a gift. So that's kind of like what was what they're intended for, but you can use them for a bunch of different things. We have some winter scenes and then some Christmas signs. So like North Pole and stuff like that in a couple different styles. So that is everything for the foil this week. Super simple. Um, I'm gonna do this kit first because I'm actually really excited about this. So it's been like two or three years now that I've been getting requests saying like, um, I live in Florida or I live somewhere that it doesn't snow and um, all these Christmas kits are like for people that actually have seasons. Um, so, I mean, granted, I'm in Georgia and it doesn't really snow, but at least it like gets cold and like I wear a sweater. But this um, kit is called Holly Jolly. Not Holly Jolly, the quote says Holly Jolly. This kit's just called Jolly. And it is like a nautical themed Christmas kit. Um, so if you are in any sort of state where it doesn't really snow or snow Christmas kits just don't resonate with you. This is like a kind of like beachy holiday themed kit. I don't know. Anyway, let's just get into it. It's like a nautical Christmas kit. So you have your floral boxes. Of course, you have this fireplace here with an anchor and some rope accents, a Christmas tree here with like a sailboat out in the window. Um, we have a dear Santa letter here with a foiled rope. Here's a lighthouse decorated with string lights. And then the quote says, holly jolly. We have this like dock here with some boats and houses. And then here we just have like a stack of presents with like a foiled, um, uh, mm, we're gonna pretend I know what that's called. I don't know why I'm completely looking. It's just like a ship wheel. Um, anyway, and then a lantern and a message in a bottle foiled as well, so. Um, hopefully those of you that have been requesting something like this, um, like it. Um, I feel like sometimes I get requests like a little bit late and so I'm not able to make it happen that season. And then when the next season rolls around, it's like, I forgot about it until it's too late again. So, um, I think I remembered in a reasonable time this year. So yay me. Um, anyway, so here is the color scheme. So we have two shades of blue, a red and a pinky color. 
It's in silver foil. I think I mentioned that, but in case I didn't, it's in silver foil. Lots of deco up here. It almost is making me think like 4th of July vibes, <laughs> but I don't know. It's still, I love it. I think this is so cute. Um, we have your foiled florals and then like a foiled rope washi. And then of course your headers with that foiled rope again. Here is the foil add-on. So you have the rope washi and divider. You have some little rope accents, some like nautical deco, some birds, life rings, um, presents, tags, and a tree. And you can pick this up in any uh, foil color, but it's in silver to match the kit here. But here is the deco add-on. So of course you get your florals and then pieces of deco. So you have this snowman on a boat. Um, you have a lighthouse here, um, that life ring there, present, tree, cookie, nutcracker, little lighthouse, um, snow globe, and then <laughs> this deer here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. Anyway, here is the oh, the journal add-on. And then we have the floral deco add-on. And the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So that's everything for the weekly kit. We also have the matching decorative kit. Um, so we have the flowers, of course, the bouquets, foiled and silver, some of the elements, so lots of deco pieces, the edges, also foiled and silver. We have layered, which is has like a scene up here. We have a uh, little light lantern here with like a foiled um, like rope on it. Um, that same little note layout. Here we have the snow globe and I put a little um, like rope accent there but <laughs> instead of snow which I guess it does look like snow when it's this small but um, just know that instead of snow this is like little um, <laughs> like ship wheels <laughs> just to go with a nautical theme. <laughs> So there's that. Um, and then you have like a candle here and then a living room scene. Oh, I put that off to the side. There we go. And we have our paper strips. The days and dates, which have blue dot date dots. Here is the borders page. Again, lots of rope accents and birds. There's string lights on this um, lighthouse. Foiled anchor. Super cute. Love the silver foil. We have the scenes. So you have like some home scenes, house, that same dock there, the fireplace, a little table setting, and then a boat filled with presents. So I guess instead of Santa on his sleigh in the air, you have Santa in a little sailboat with presents. <laughs> um, here is your box swatches. So these Again, match the full boxes. And then you have the swashes. So these are just like the watercolory type of swashes. So that is everything for the Jolly Kit. Again, I hope I did the whole like beachy Christmas request justice. Um, surprisingly, there is not a lot of art out there. It meets those requirements. So when I saw that art, I was like, yeah, that's happening. That is happening for sure. Um, next we have Festive, which is in champagne gold foil. And this is like your classic type of like red and green kit. So we, up here we have like some ornaments, this little storefront with like the foiled snow. We have like this house um, with <laughs> this kid pulling another kid on a little sleigh. Um, the quote says home for the holidays. Um, you have like this really pretty like paper pattern behind the florals. I love that. This living room, so cute. And then here, that's the foil like presents in hand I was talking about. So there's that. And then you also have like the little 
ribbon bow things on the presents again that I was talking about in here so you can see them both in this box. Here is the color palette. You have a super rich red, a like nice green as well, and then you have a lighter green and like a nudie color as well. Whenever the red is like this rich, the kit automatically in my head has to be gold or rose gold. Typically gold though, especially when it's a holiday kit. Just something about like this rich red with gold is just so stunning to me. Oh, I love it. And of course we have those same like um, like paper textures that I was talking about in the full boxes throughout here as well. I love those. This bottom washi. Oh, I love her. She's so pretty. Let's all tell her how pretty she is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so we have our foiled florals here with like that vintage writing in the back and then another super pretty textured um, strip for the bench strip with a foiled like snow swirl washi and then you have the snow swirl headers and I love this gold foil on this green so pretty and like how rich that lace is like how much that the white in the lace like pops on that red <laughs> love her we have the foil add-on so you have the snow swirl washing dividers you have some like holly some of those hands some of those kids, some hanging snowflakes and snowflake garland, this window with some snow flurries, and then you have a bunch of little snow flurries there as well. Here is the deco add-on. So you have some presents, this little Merry Christmas sign, this girl decorating a tree and this girl reading, mailbox, a tree, a sled, just a bunch of fun stuff, and of course some florals. We have our journal add-on as well. Those textures there, love. The floral deco add-on, which so much red in this. And then we have the swatch, I'll call it swatch add-on, which this is like a super classic Christmas color palette. I love how like muted, but also rich the colors are. So this is like a really good holiday-ish staple. And then moving on to the decorative kit, we have the flowers the bouquets in gold foil, the elements, the edges, which they have little bows foiled in the confetti as well. I don't know if you can really tell. Maybe just spent some time doing that when I really don't have to, but it's okay. Um, here up here on the layered page, we have this scene with some snow out the window. Same here, we have some snow in the window there too. This bed with the garland on it and this sleigh with some holly and snowflakes on it. We have the little mailbox with like a postage, little foil accent, some ornaments hanging on a branch with some snow garland on there as well. And then you have this little like present flat lay with that little like branchy heart wreath thing. And then of course you have the foiled um, like ribbon things on the presents as well. Love that. Here is the paper strip sheet. So you have those same textured papers there. The days and dates and the date dots are in that red color. The borders, super cute in this, lots of rich reds. So you have like your ice skates there. Here we have that same branch with the ornaments. We have a little living room scene here. The mailbox and presents. And we have the sled and then like this little birdhouse. Love that. Here are the scenes. We have a little dining table, a bed, a window, a fireplace a living room with a fireplace and a chair, another like kind of almost like a sitting room with a couch in front of the window. You have this house here and then this storefront here. And then here is the box swatches page. Again, just a sampling of some of the boxes from the full box page. And then we have the swatches. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. I'm really loving the holiday kits. Um, I'm just, I'm always, this is my favorite time of year. Like honestly, I love the weather right now. 
Listen, I hate it when it's cold. Um, but I love the weather right now. It's like high of like 72 here. Love that for us. Um, love the weather right now. Love that all of the trees outside of like on my drive to work and on my drive back home and also to daycare. Tons. And I mean tons of red and orange beautiful trees that are changing colors and losing their leaves right now. Love that. Um, and then I'm designing and working on like, um, like Christmassy wintery types of kits, which I love as well. So like, it's just like, this is my favorite time of the year. Well, hands down. Um, and then we have hol hol holiday Halloween coming on Thursday, which I'm super excited about. And then I'm probably going to put out my Christmas tree on November 1st. I don't even care. I do not care. Um, let me know when you put your Christmas tree up because um, she's going up on November 1st, I think, probably. Maybe November 2nd since November 1st is a Friday, but we'll see. And I don't even care. I love it. I'm so excited to put her up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let me know what your favorite time of the year is. Um, obviously, this is mine since I'm raving about it so much. Um, it does help that it does not get extremely cold here, but... Um, I will be experiencing extreme winter weather um, next year at the beginning of the year when we uh, go on our trip. So um, that's not going to be fun, but I, I'll hopefully survive. But yeah, that's everything. Um, I hope that you guys have a great wet week ahead. And if you do celebrate Halloween or you will be going trick-or-treating, just stay safe. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.